<laughs> Hello there, you called me at home, dressed in my pyjamas and listened to some quality music. Oh, I think it's about time we connected our uh, Wilden School laptop to my wireless network so I can check my precious emails. Let's see how we do that now. Okay, first thing we do is load up Internet Explorer. When that's open, move to the top right hand side of the screen and click on the Tools button. On the drop down menu that appears, click on Internet Options. In the next window, we need to select the Connections tab. Then we go and select the Local Area Network Settings button, and we can turn off the school proxy settings. Remember that when you turn this off, the proxy settings are saved in Internet Explorer. We then select the Automatically Detect Settings buttons, press OK, and then OK again. That's the settings changed. All we need to do now is just refresh our default homepage. You can select the uh, URL bar, and then press Enter, and it will start refreshing. Once you've changed your proxy settings, the first website you go to may take up to 15 seconds to load. This is a wonderful feature in uh, Internet Explorer that I like to call Suspense. Oh, and here we go, my favourite website's coming up. And, oh, isn't she so cute? Look at her lovely dress and little pink booties. Oh, she's throwing flowers. Oh, some wonderful new handbags I can buy. Oh, wonderful accessories. Oh, even a new... Uh, what's that? Oh, my laptop's turned into a Mac. Well, seeing as here, I suppose I'd better show you Mac users how it works as well. Okay, now for you Mac users. First thing we do is click on the Apple. Then System Preferences. Then we select the Network option. In the next screen, we make sure the Airport is selected and press Configure. The keychain will now ask if we can save the wireless access passwords. Just click Always Allow on those. In the next screen, click on the Proxies tab. You'll note that there are three blue boxes down the left hand side and these all have the Proxy 8000 setting in them. feel quite happy just to uh, turn these off and the setting will be saved in each three. When you come back to turn your proxy settings on, make sure all three are selected. You can then apply. Once again, the keychain will ask us if we can use these passwords. Just select Always Allow. You can then quit out of that screen and browse through Safari back to your home page. Well, there we go. Everyone happy with how to connect to their home wireless network using your Wilden laptop. So, I think I'll get back to what I enjoy best. Yes! Hello, IT support, Leslie speaking. No, I'm afraid John's not in the office at the minute. Okay, bye-bye. Oh, hello, you caught me in the office. Oh, well, I think it's about time we uh, check the IT support section on the uh, VLE for any uh, important network updates. But of course, first we're going to have to put our proxy settings back to normal. Let's see how it's done now. So, here we go again. Back to Internet Explorer. Up to the top right-hand side of the screen, we're going to select Tools. Then move down to Internet Options. Then we're going to select the Connections tab. Down to Local Area Network Settings. Then we're going to turn on our proxy server settings and turn off Automatically Detect Settings. We're going to OK, OK. Then back up to the URL bar, highlight the text, press Enter and it will refresh our home page. Ah, look, we found ourselves in the eReg page. Joyous joy. Thanks to uh, Dave Swain and uh, Michael Heaver for that one. Great job, guys. Ah. Oh, hello again. Well, thanks for watching uh, this podcast. I hope that uh, you learned something, which, of course, you did learn something. You learned how to change your proxy settings so you can get wireless internet at home. Wonderful stuff. Stay tuned till next time. I made this.